Well, a unique opportunity. You've got both presidents of uh, of the Surf Club here today. Uh, John McNamara, president of the, of the Supporters Club, and Daryl Johnson, president of the uh, Surf Life Saving Club. Thought we'd change it up a little bit and rather just uh, hear from from us on, on paper. We thought we'd uh, get together, have, have a bit of a talk about what's happening around the club at the moment here at Malula Bar. So welcome, Macca. Hey, great to have you with us. Um, and today's um, probably, you know, it'd be great to, for the members to hear from you, you know, just what's happening around the club, how we're travelling financially, uh, what's on offer to our members here at, at Malula. Absolutely. Uh, as everyone knows, it's been a really tough period with COVID. Uh, the club's had a lot of lockdowns, a lot of restrictions, which have affected us financially. But uh, we've come through all that, and I, I think it's fair to say that we're getting towards the end of COVID and, and the effects of it for us, hopefully. Um, from a financial point of view, we're, we're tracking really well. Um, the, the supporters club's probably got about 500000 in the bank at the moment, which helps us run the club. We need. We need that, but it, it, it shows that we're solvent. Um, in addition, the loan with Westpac sits at about 853,000 outstanding, and we're paying that off at 72,000 a month. So by this time next year, that'll be gone. Uh, we're about 750,000 in advance on that loan, so uh, the club's done really well to knock that down. And what's exciting for us is uh, these borders reopening. Christmas period, we really do expect. Uh, this coming period is going to be strong for us. So, Mac, you know, the last 18 months, it's something we've never experienced before in, in, in this country. Um, we've got through it okay? We, we have, and look, um, it's been a really tough period for our staff, particularly uh, our manager, Brian Jones. Um, it's not only meant uh, managing the finances, but managing the team. And anyone who knows about hospitality in Australia, knows that getting workers in hospitality, getting chefs, is, hasn't been easy. Um, so that's meant we've had to manage things such as our menu, our opening times, different things like that. Hopefully the, uh, the members haven't really noticed that too much. Um, but as we reopen, uh, we'll get more back to normal. We'll see the upstairs bar powering on, I think, now that uh, the borders reopen a bit. Yeah, mate, that's, I think that's fantastic that we've come through it. We're in a pretty sound financial position. Yeah, obviously, surf life saving, we rely on the on the money that's made inside here to help us keep going. So, uh, I suppose into the future, you know, we'll have a loan paid off. Between both of us, really need to be cognizant about how we we look to plan for the future, what that looks like, and it's. We'll have money there, but we need to be really prudent about what we spend it on. Spot on. Um, when, when I first came along into this role, um, you know, our, our role is to make the money and, and get it to the surf club to to spend it wisely. Um, but at the same time, maintain our facilities. Um, and any money we make has to be sustainable. So it not just it, it didn't mean for me uh, making a profit. It meant having procedures, compliance, added levels of accounting in place so that we didn't ever get in the position where we couldn't pay our taxes or our superannuation for our, tax, for our staff, where we were handing over regular money to the surf that they could count on. That's how I see our role, um, and, and that, you know, to support the club to go on to bigger and better things for both clubs. Yeah, so we, we, we've both got uh, general managers in place now. Uh, Cam McConnell's come on board um, on our side of the house and been a great addition for us. Uh, as, as you said, brought some compliance, some governance to, to what we do. Um, we're not looking at just tomorrow, but what we're aiming for next year, two years' time, five years' time, and our strategic plan reflects that. So it's about how our members can be confident that uh, they're going to have a club that's really sustainable in five years' time and, and longer. Um, and having those processes in place really put us in a good position. Spot on, spot on. And, and Brian and Kim work terrifically to work together. So the link between the two clubs is seamless, which is fantastic. What we've always strived for. And, and I suppose, Maka, you know, um, we, we've got 
over 1,400 members on our side of the house here at the moment. Um, you know, 400 on the beach patrolling at any given stage. We have 530 nippers this year, which is just fantastic. Uh, luckily, we haven't had them all on the beach uh, together at one at one time, but um, large number of members. The club is is their club. You know, what what do you offer for our members to, to get in there and, and enjoy what is probably one of the best locations on the Sunshine Coast? Yep. We, we want all the members to come in and enjoy the club as though it's their own. Look, during this busy period, I'm sure it'll be full and members will be saying, I can't even get into my club. But if you have a group of people that want to get into the club, especially over the Christmas period, give me or anyone on the committee, and those names will be in this month's newsletter, give us a bell. We'll do everything we can to get in there and make sure everyone gets into the club more often, has a good time while they're here, and really enjoys themselves. We, we're always looking for ways to do things for our members, but I don't see it as my role to give away free beer to the members. We'll, we'll make the money for the surf club to spend wisely, but we do come up with vouchers for all the patrolling members. Come in and use them. Don't be like my kids, they seem to sit in a drawer at home. Come down and use them. Um, we, um, and we're willing to entertain any other idea that members have, so feel free to give us a bell, have a chat. Just come up, give us some ideas. We want the upstairs room, which can be a bit empty at times. We can make it available for uh, the members to have a section of that to have a couple of patrol groups get together or, uh, you know, a nipper's parent function or the boating, ski paddlers, masters. Uh, don't be shy. So, mate, a, a, great, a great place to have a beer and, and a feed after a patrol. Patrol captains have got that ability to bring their patrols in after patrol. Uh, patrol captains shout. Uh, after a patrol that the surf club's put on. Plenty of opportunities for our members to come down and enjoy, uh, as I said, what is the best location on the Sunshine Coast. Fr from the surf life-saving life uh, side of the house, um, you've seen in the last couple of days uh, the mandate out of, uh, out of surf life-saving Queensland about the double vax requirements by the 31st of March next year. Obviously, we'll continue to work through that understand what it means uh, for our for our members um, and what it means for the club in general it's it's you know we, we really appreciate that and respect that people have their own views and will make decisions on vaccination and we appreciate that and we respect that uh, but from a club perspective uh, at this stage by the 31st of march next year members of this club will be expected to be double vaxxed um, and if people make the decision not to, um, unfortunately, won't be able to be part of um, the patrolling uh, cohort that we have here at, at the Mall of our surf So um, it, it's, it, it's a change. We, we haven't seen it before in our, our history uh, going through this, but we've got to respect uh, what the Chief Health Officer has mandated and what Surf Life Saving Queensland have mandated for Surf Life Saving in, in Queensland. So probably uh, one of the big issues that we need to uh, address in the next couple of months is around the vaccinations. Obviously, uh, again, we, and we've, we've uh, outlined this, ARIA have come on board as a principal sponsor. Uh, we have a number of other sponsors, Aveo, Boots Juice at the moment. Um, just like to thank those sponsors for supporting surf life saving here at Moorba. Uh, without them, we, we, we can't uh, do our job and, and support our members. So uh, it's been huge to have ARIA on board as our principal sponsor. And we thank that team, that organisation, for supporting us here on, on, uh, at, at Moorba. That's about it from me. Um, thanks, Maka. It's, it's been good having you have, have this yarn and also just outline what's, what's available there at the club and probably more importantly just reinforcing to all our members that we do have a very sustainable club here but as, as, as the uh, presidents of both committees we still need to be really financially responsible about how we spend that money Absolutely. so, yep. so uh, thanks very much uh, we'll be back in um, 
and touch base again uh, just before Christmas. There's a fair bit happening around. You know, we've had carnivals, uh, we've got Christmas coming up, and, and a, probably a bumper bumper tourist season with the borders opening on the 17th of December. So it's going to be a really busy spot. Look forward to seeing everyone around on the beach, in the club, um, and we'll talk before Christmas. Thank you.